In a moment, I'm going to read part of the bio of our honored guest, His Eminence Cardinal Timothy Dolan. But for all his erudition, for all of his humanity, his spiritual leadership, as Jews say, his menschlichkeit, Cardinal Dolan is a leader who shows up. Time and again, Cardinal, you have shown up. When you first arrived and were welcomed by the New York Jewish community, it was here, you showed up. When terror struck in Jerusalem in 2016, you were here, you showed up. When we dedicated our new building in 2019, you showed up and knew it was a time to celebrate. And when October 7th happened, you showed up. You called me, one of my very first calls from Rome, to check in on how I was doing and how our community was doing. And when money was raised for those suffering in the wake of October 7th, you allocated unprecedented funds from the Archdiocese to the UJA Israel campaign. <laughs> Cardinal Dolan, on behalf of us all, we thank you for your leadership in our great city, for the bond you share with this synagogue, and for your unwavering solidarity with the Jewish people in times of joy, and as in the case today, in times of sorrow. His Eminence Timothy Dolan was named Archbishop of New York by Pope Benedict the 16th on February 23, 2009. He served as Archbishop of Milwaukee, appointed there by Pope St. John Paul II on June 25, 2002. Cardinal Dolan completed a three-year term as President of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops in November of 2013, and on January 6, 2012, and I was there with you in Rome, His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI announced and then subsequently elevated, it was a bar mitzvah, that Timothy Dolan should be appointed to the College of Cardinals. Please join me in welcoming my friend, a friend of our community, a friend of the Jewish people, His Eminence Cardinal Dolan. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. Shabbat Shalom. I know that, and amen. Those are about the only ones I've... Now, look, here's the, um, here's the way I'm looking at this, this uh, cherished unity with you at Shabbat this evening. See, I'm not here as the Archbishop of New York or as a so-called Prince of the Church. I'm here this evening as Timothy Dolan, a friend and a neighbor throughout my 47 years as a priest, but especially, especially during my almost 15 years as Archbishop of New York, I have treasured my friendship with the Jewish community. In fact, you've heard me joke on earlier pleasantly recalled visits that I at times wonder if I spend more time with Jews than Catholics, <laughs> and actually might even be more comfortable with you because uh, you don't complain about pastors who preach too long or second collections or the latest statement from the Vatican, see? Anyway, I am immensely grateful for the honor of your friendship. And especially right now, as a friend, I want to be near you and with you and supportive of you. Through my own study of history, I'm soberly aware that Jews desperately ached for friends in past times of bigotry, persecution, and hardship, and rarely found any. With the sense of contrition lauded by both our traditions, I still blush that so few of us Christians came to your defense when you needed it most during the Shoah. Never again. A friend stands with you this evening, a friend who loves you and mourns with you and worries, worries with you. I recently um, received a letter from a Jewish mother not far from here. She told me that uh, each morning she 
happily sends her two young daughters to walk to school. But now, she related, she was scared. And she had begun to walk with her daughters. Well, another mother in her building, who daily walked her own kids to the nearby Catholic school, noticed her and said, why don't we walk together? That woman and her kids, the Jewish mom wrote, have become friends. You Jews have a voluminous history of suffering. That's awful enough, but to suffer it alone makes it worse. And I don't want that to happen. So I come as a friend and as a neighbor, a neighbor. We Catholics and, and you, we Catholics and you Jews love this city, don't we? Our grandparents came here for safety and freedom and were not disappointed. By the way, we Irish and you Jews both have a, borne a lot of suffering and are, are said thus to have a solicitude for those who are threatened. In the face of danger and oppression, we say the, J the Jews go to synagogue or to the Wailing Wall, we Irish go to mass and to the pub. Anyway, <laughs> we, we as neighbors cherish New York City as a locus of amity and respect and affection among all religious and ethnic groups, do we not? And the world, the world considers us as a light, a light to the world in this regard. Thus, we neighbors will not let this city we love be smothered by the voices of anti-Semitism or any racial or religious vitriol. No pampered professor or spoiled, entitled, thuggish protester will sink this city into a place of slurs and Nazi flags. We've come too far and work too hard to see our neighborhoods aflame with burning crosses or spray painted swastikas. We are neighbors, not enemies. We are we, not you are them. We are we, neighbors. And that's simply why I'm here this evening as a friend and a neighbor to pray with and for you this Sabbath evening. As people of faith, we're convinced, we know, that in the long run, in the long run, the dominion, the love, and peace of the Lord will prevail. Ah, but it's the short run that worries us. And what do you say we worry together as friends and neighbors? Thank you. Shabbat Shalom.